Well, uh, maybe I can begin with one of my classes. Uh, for years I've taught a history of Christianity class, uh, the first thousand years um, at the University of Virginia. And um, I've noticed that most of the students who take the class come from Christian backgrounds. And uh, what I try to tell them at the beginning of the class is that what they know about Christianity now, they learned from their parents, from their pastor, from going to a parochial school or a Christian school, what they've learned from the practices that they observed as Christians. Um, they, they know about Christianity from within. And now they're in a university classroom, and so we're going to look at Christianity as a historical movement. We're going to look at it from a distance, and that it's going to give us a quite different perspective on what Christianity is. And uh, as we go through the course then, it becomes obvious to, to these people that uh, it is possible to think about what one believes and not simply to believe what one believes. And um, one of the things that is characteristic of the world in which we live is that because faith is the, the most appropriate term that people use to refer to religious people, they have faith, one assumes that faith is simply a matter of feeling or attitude or opinion. That is, it has nothing to do with, with thought or reflection. One person believes this, another person believes that, but one of the things that one learns as you study the history of Christian thought and tradition is that believing requires thinking. There is no belief without thinking. So that thought is complementary to faith. Early on, Christians began to talk about faith seeking understanding. So anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that believing and thinking are complementary. And the assumption that many people have within the university is that believing and thinking are really contradictory. So the first responsibility that Christian faculty and Christian students have is to be able to express to others why it is that what they believe has reasonable bases for it. And so therefore, um, thinking becomes um, essential.